Lunches, gift cards, fruit baskets. That might sound familiar to many of us, right? You might have given or received one of these to your employees as a thank you for a job well done. Because we tend to reward people with goodies, and often it is something that is very short-lived. But what do actually people want when it comes to recognition and rewards? First of all, randomly giving out gift cards usually does more damage than good. Often we see companies do this and they have these recognition programs around performance. And that is usually addressed like once at the end of the year, it's once a year when they start kind of giving these awards out. But it also leaves a lot of people usually kind of demotivated and confused because somehow they didn't meet the metric of high performance while others did. And that is because performance in many cases can come in essentially many ways. And what performance for one person is not the same for the next one. So a better way to do a recognition program is to identify a set of values, for example, and what are the behaviors of those values look like that you would expect of someone who actually deserves a recognition award. And having these clear actions in terms of what do they actually look like, right, in actual action. So, and furthermore, really, a recognition uh, program should be uh, peer driven and often they're not often it's all up on the manager which adds an additional layer to managers responsibility and usually they kind of just tick the box hence the true value of these sort of programs is not really there and colleagues nominating each other throughout the year and then having these mini celebrations throughout the year as well is usually a good way forward um, at least as we see in terms of where the companies are shifting and where it's becoming more effective Elena, I love your idea that the recognition should be peer driven. I mean, how does the manager knows everything that an employee is contributing? So only other employees who are working with this with the person can get to know it. Um, another important fact is that we we sometimes bias that in order to give a, a recognition, we need to give like money, some perks, and that people are going to be happy because they got an extra bonus. Well. It's not always the case. In fact, the, the, the way we have been constructed is that what we crave for is more about recognition in front of others. What does it mean? A simple ovation, a simple clapping in front of others can pull it out quite nicely in order to have sustainable engagement, sustainable motivation of, of people. The financial perks is something that makes you happy like Quick, a, a quick rush of adrenaline and we are happy, but then it dissipates through, uh, through the time and then it's not sustainable. But innovation is something that we keep, uh, the, we keep inside of, uh, of us. Hi guys, Elena here from Bestern. If you're enjoying this episode, please make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on weekly new videos that we have coming out on personal and professional development topics. Also feel free to send your questions and engage with us and comment in the YouTube videos in the comment section below. Now back to the episode. There was this excellent writer, Paul Zacks. He had a book that is called The Trust Factor, where he proposes like kind of eight actions or attitudes that can be uh, encouraged within companies to help employees release a molecule that is quite important in order to drive engagement and intrinsic motivation in corporations. This molecule is oxytocin. So uh, he insists that on demonstrating that these measures that are easy to introduce as long as the managers, leaders have the will, willingness, the energy and the strategy to, to do it. So the type of actions that are quite important in order to drive this production of oxytocin where people are more productive, engaged, like feeling belonging, uh, be belonging to the team is what the first one and the most important is ovation, is the recognition that we are talking about. It's about the clarification of the expectations, the clarifications of how it needs to be produced within us, the transfer of knowledge, being open, being caring, investing time of the development of people and being simply as much as natural as, as, as required. And that, that will produce that the fact that we feel like we belong somewhere and like we are really recognized because of what we do. 
Absolutely. And just to add a little bit more to that, in case somebody's still not convinced of why this matters and why this approach works better, according to our brains, is we're actually very much driven by rewards. So whether it's a great workout or your favorite ice cream or a good grade or being recognized at work, the reward system is actually in the brain uh, located in the amygdala where we feel emotions to start or stop doing a particular task based on how it makes us feel. So when something feels good, of course, of course, we want to do more of it, be better at it and get that feeling again. And when we experience something unpleasant, our brain is not a fan of that. So it will steer us away from that activity in the future to the best of its ability. So by giving recognition to your employees, simply put, and even better, peer recognizing them, we know that our brain will register that as an action that is something good and positive, therefore looking to recreate it again and again ultimately driving this individual to want to continue to perform. So we just want to leave you with a couple of small actions you can take today to be better at rewarding your staff. Number one, identify values that you want them to actually portray. So what are the values and what are those behaviors, right? Identify how these values are actionable. What behaviors can be associated with a person actually uh, producing this, uh, this behavior in their work? What does it look like? And finally, just take a moment and brainstorm with others about creative ways to design a recognition program that it actually works and that is effective based on what you learned in this chapter and also based on maybe what you've been researching around on this topic. Because if you're listening to this video, you must be interested in this topic.